y'all get, you know, you gotta make sure y'all get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure y'all get it. Y'all see, y'all see, y'all see. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Diamond. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So as you can see by the title, for today's video, I have a luxury bag haul for you guys. Since we've been in quarantine, I've been doing nothing but shopping. Like I literally have nothing else to do but shop. And I've been buying a lot of bags. And I thought that I would show you guys what I got. Basically, I'm just going to be showing you bags from the beginning of 2020 all the way to now, which is April. It's a little disclaimer for you guys. Um, I'm not rich <laughs> or anything like that and also this is not meant to be like a bragging video or anything like that like I'm not trying to show off or anything I'm literally just showing you guys what I bought I like to do hauls on my channel and show you guys what I get so that's really just all it is before we get into the video you know I have to ask make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and please do not forget to leave a comment down below all right let's get into it Start, I wanted to, you know, address the elephant in the room. Do you guys like my hair? Give her a new style, a new hairdo, a new cut, a new color. <laughs> So for those of you who do not know me personally, this is not something drastic that I did over quarantine. I've always had short hair, but I wear my wigs whenever I don't feel like doing my hair. And so in my future videos, you'll probably see me switching back and forth between my short hair and my wigs. And it's no big deal. I just want to address it because, you know. It's my my hair you guys haven't seen my hair that's it all right so I'm just going to start with the first bag that I bought in 2020 and it is this Balenciaga BB wallet on chain bag I got this bag in the croc material and it's like a patent leather it has the black on black hardware where it has the black chain and then the black BBs on the front if you can see it also y'all please do not mind my nails I tried to do it myself and it didn't work but anyway it has the black on black hardware which I love since this is a wallet on chain bag when you open it up you have like several different little card slots for you to put your credit cards or your ID in and then you have like this little open space and then you have this zipper right here in the front for um, like coins and things like that or just extra storage if you needed it. I love this bag so much. I didn't have, at the time that I bought it, I didn't have a crock print bag. So I thought it was really cool and I love the black on black hardware. Like that's what really drew, drew me to this bag. It has this long chain, but as you can see, like I doubled it up. I just, you know, opened the flap and just like twisted the chain so that it'd be two short little chains. And I actually like it better like this. Um, it's a perfect bag it actually fits a lot I'm a mini bag person I usually opt for smaller bags than bigger ones just because I don't carry much I usually only carry my phone and my wallet and that's another thing um, I have an iPhone 8 plus and don't don't try to drag me I can't get rid of my home button so I, that's why I haven't upgraded in case you're wondering but anyway um, I have an iPhone 8 plus and it's pretty big so I'm always looking for a bag that will actually fit my phone and this bag fits my phone and my wallet perfectly Perfectly. This is what it looks like. Sorry, it changed anyway. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I have my little card holder right there, my wallet, and then my phone, and I can still close it and um, it fit fine. It's a little snug, but it doesn't um, warp the bag if that makes sense. Like the bag still has its shape. I could probably get away with more, putting more in this bag if I got rid of this wallet and just put my cards in the actual card slots but I changed bags too much for that so um that's why I just keep my card holder in it. Um, I got this bag off of this website called 24s and if you're not familiar with it it's basically like this Parisian website it's a luxury department store in France I forget the name of the actual store but that's their website 24s and they sell um authentic luxury items I got this bag on sale this bag retails for $1,090 and I got it for $830, which I know you're probably like, girl, <laughs> that's still a lot. And it is, it is still a lot, but I would rather pay $130 flat with no taxes or duties. 
versus paying 1090 plus tax you know that just sounds like a better deal to me but yeah i love this bag so much it's super cute um i will link it down below if you guys would like to purchase it yourself all right next up is a bag that i've been looking at since last year it came out last year actually and i've been looking at it since then and it is the prada re-edition 2000 mini shoulder bag in case you didn't know prada re-released um a selection of their nylon bags they released a shoulder bag and a crossbody bag i'm sure you've seen the crossbody bag on every influencer girl there is i opted for the smaller um shoulder bag just because i didn't know if i would actually really like it or not but i actually do i love it so much this bag is fully nylon it's literally nylon all around and i know you got you guys are probably like girl you got that plain bag but honestly it's just really nostalgic this bag retails for $725. This is the only bag that I could not get on sale literally because I could only purchase it on the Prada website. I could not find it on any other website besides Prada, which is fine with me because then, you know, I know that it's authentic or whatever. But as you can see, um, it's nylon and it's in this cute little neutral tan color. It has the inverted Prada logo on the front, if you can see that. And on this little key tab, sorry to get to focus on this little key tab it says Prada re-edition 2000 um it has a little zip closure right here and if you open it on the inside of the bag sorry that's the authenticity card but on the inside of the bag it has another Prada tag right here and then on the fabric it just says Prada all throughout and as you can see as well there's no pockets or anything it's just full open space this bag actually fits a lot despite how small it looks again I only carry my wallet and my phone and it fits those perfectly and it still has room for more things one thing I would like to note about this bag is if you're if you're a person that carries a lot of things, the bag will like sort of dip. I'm not sure if you can see it a little bit here. Like it will dip in depending on how heavy the items that you have in the bag are. Oh, so, you know, if that's an issue for you, you may want to watch what you put in there because it will sink down because it's literally just all nylon. It's not too much of a structure to it and it doesn't have feet on the bottom. I love this bag so much. Again, like I said, it's very nostalgic. I never had a product bag before and this is my first one. And I think this was a good pickup. I love the neutral um, tan color. I didn't have a bag in this color at the time when I bought it. So, you know, I went ahead and got this. And you can wear it however you want. You know, you can hold it like this. You can put it on your shoulder. You can put it on your arm like that. However you want to wear it. I probably will just, you know, wear it on my shoulder a lot just because, I don't know, I like bags like that. But yeah, this bag is super cute. I love it so, so much. It's like literally one of my favorites. I I'm going to get it in more colors. Um, I really waiting on that blue to come back. Prada, come on, restock, please, please, Harry, quickly, quickly. And next up is a bag that you guys are probably going to be mad at me for buying because it's going to look like a pointless purchase. But I loved it so much that I just had to have it. And it is this Alexander Wang She O Mini Tote Bag. I know what you're thinking. I know you got like, girl, what is that? Literally, <laughs> it's literally just. A leather rectangle and it is it is but i i don't know it's just something really drew drew me to this bag like whenever i would go into my local sacks i would see this bag and i would always pick it up and like you know look at it and look at myself in the mirror with it. i'm just like this is a really cool bag i mean yeah it's plain it doesn't have anything on it but i just thought it was really cool because i had never seen a bag just you know i've seen totes but i've never seen like a tote that was like structured like this if that makes sense and it just looks very contemporary and very minimalistic if that makes sense much the leather is super duper soft this is very good quality leather and this bag retails for $4.25 I got it on sale for $3.70 I want to say $3.75 or something like that from Neiman Marcus I haven't need a bag that was just like you know plain and black and I feel like this one was perfect it has these two little top handle straps that I will most likely use um, it also comes with a crossbody strap that you can um, hook or unhook if you wanted to I most likely will unhook it just because um, this bag does not close so 
if you can see inside there's no closure it's literally just open bag and so the reason that I would not carry this by the crossbody strap is because usually when I carry bags by the crossbody strap is when I want to be hands free and since this bag is so open I would not carry it by the crossbody strap just simply because if I'm in a crowded area like the mall or something like that someone can just easily reach their hand down in my bag so I would probably most likely carry it by just the top handle strap because at least you know my hand is right there so if somebody tries to reach in my bag I could at least feel them trying to reach in or something like that but it does have that option if you would like on the inside of the bag it's like a lot of open space if you can see it on the side it has like a little pocket like a little scrunchy pocket right here that you can put things in and then on this other side it has Alexander Wang tag right there and it's like a little zipper pocket that you can also put other things in the pockets are pretty deep so again all I have is my wallet and my phone and they fit in there pretty perfectly i can stand my phone up and my wallet and i can still have space all over here for other things and i could probably you know just throw something on top of my phone and my wallet so it's a pretty decent bag and it has pretty good spacing a super cute bag i love it so much y'all don't don't go on me you know don't rip me up in the comments like girl why'd you buy that because i mean i know i understand but we buy what we like right so and next up is another alexander wang bag so as you can see i really love alexander wang so if you are not familiar with alexander wang he makes a lot of fanny pack bags and so this bag is called the attica mini tote so the Attica bags are the fatty pack bags that he has. And so he came out with this one. The only difference between this one is that it has this little top handle strap which drew me to it the most. Because I was going to get one of the fanny packs but once I saw this I liked it because I could actually carry it as a purse. On the front uh, it has all of these little zippers. It has these two zippers on the side. It has this one on the front right here. It has the bigger one up top and then it has another big one in the back. So it comes with this. I took it off but it comes with this crossbody chain that you can just hook on to the straps right here if you're not if you can see it you can just hook it up to the straps right here but i took it off just because i like it like this it's a super duper cute bag it retails for 650 and i believe i got it for 390 yeah 390 off of the website intermix which is another website that sells uh luxury items they had like a 40 percent off sale or something like that and i got it off of there and, um, you see that you have this little card slot right here it says alexander wang on it and then you just have all of this extra space in there again when I buy bags I like to see if my my phone could actually fit in it and my phone can let me see my phone and my wallet it's literally all that can fit in there and it's a little space on the ends but that's really most likely all I would put in there on the back I'm not sure what could fit in here I'm not sure if my phone could fit in here let me see if my phone could fit in this one my phone can actually fit in there that that would be the only thing that will fit in the back so my phone is right there if you can see like the little outline of it so i could probably fit, just put my phone back there and put my wallet and whatever else i needed in the front but then again it takes up a little space like I can feel it it takes up a little space I don't know but yeah um all I'm carrying is my phone my wallet and probably some lip gloss lip balm whatever I'm not carrying too much so it's not a big deal I love this bag so much it's like motorcycle chic if that makes sense and I just can think of so many outfits that I could wear this with and it would just be super cute carrying it by this little top handle and I just really love Alexander Wayne like I just I don't know I love, I love all of his pieces he does great work but yeah this is a super cute bag it's super mini and just adorable and I just love it so much all right next up is another favorite of mine y'all i first saw this bag in january i saw it on instagram and i was like oh my gosh i gotta get that bag i said look i'm gonna manifest it i'm gonna get that bag i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna get it on sale and baby speaking into existence okay speaking into existence because guess what i got it and i got it on sale you feel me so and it is this off-white gummy jitney bag so off-white is the brand in case you were wondering i love this bag so freaking much do y'all see the strap that's literally what you know drew me to the bag look at this i've never seen a bag with like this little jump rope strap like that's just like look how like 
like that's so cool and like cute this bag originally retails for on the off-white website at least it retails for twelve hundred and something dollars i got it off of the website essence which is a canadian um luxury designer um retail website whatever um i got off of there for eight hundred and four dollars but another thing is i actually um bought this bag through this app called shop style and if you're not sure what shop style is it's basically like this little website slash app where you go and you look for whatever item designer item regular item really doesn't matter um item that you want and you can get cash back through that site so i ended up paying 804 for it but i got like 50 dollars cash back because i think it was like five percent cash back at the time and um so I got $50 back. So I basically paid $750 for it, which was a good deal. I mean, I know it's still expensive, guys. Trust me, I understand that. But would you rather pay $1,200 or would you rather pay $750? Like, come on now. I mean, that just, that just makes sense, you know? And so um, I was super excited, of course, because I knew I was going to fight on sale because I just, I mean, I just... I just knew I was because I mean that's what I do baby I'm not buying, I'm not paying I'm not paying for a price but not this we are I'm not doing it no ma'am if I can help it I'm not paying for a price so so this is the gummy jitney bag um the jitney bags come in various sizes the smallest size is I think like 0 0.7 and the biggest size is 2.8 this size is the 1.4 and I actually have another um off-white bag in the same size 1.4 I have the jitney cash and side bag and I love that bag too and so um i knew when i got this bag that i would fall in love with it just as much as i fell in love with the other one it has this little matte finish to it it's leather but it has like a matte finish like in the feel and the look of it um it has the matte white sorry I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see it but it has like the matte white off white sign right here and you can twist this that's one thing i love about the jitty bags to open the bags you just twist it and it'll open on up and on the inside it has this cute contrasting red leather so it comes with this little crossbody strap and on the inside i'm sorry those are the tags it has a little pocket right there it has all this open space it has another pocket right here and then it has another pocket on the back it came with this little crossbody strap but nine times out of ten i will not use it just because i love this strap more and i also feel like it's kind of stupid when like brands make a bag that has like a cool strap and when they make the regular top handle strap it's all cool or whatever but then when they give you the crossbody it's just some regular old little strap like what what am i gonna do with this what am I like that's not even cool like i feel like if you're gonna make the top handle strap as cool as this you should make this cool too like what am i gonna do with this i'm sorry i, I dropped it because what am i gonna do with it what am i doing oh so, yeah i will most likely carry this bag by this top handle strap just because it's so cool this bag also comes in black but i just opted for this one just because it was um springtime and i felt like this was a spring bag and plus i had a lot of black bags already um i may go back and get that one because it's on sale too for like seven something right now so i don't know maybe but um i love this bag so much it's literally i know that i said the product was my favorite but this was my favorite too like i don't know it's, I, I can't choose like they're all my favorites i love them so much but yeah so freaking cute i love this bag so so much it's so cute it's another bag that i bought at the same time that i bought the off-white bag and it is this Kara bike chain camera bag so if you're not familiar with Kara, Kara is a brand based out of New York. They came on the scene in like the early 2010s, I want to say. I'm not sure exactly. But yeah, in the early 2010s, they came on the scene in New York and they came out with these cool little bike wallets. So the bike wallet basically looks exactly like this, but it's like a small little wallet size. And I was going to get that, but the bike wallet costs like $300. And you literally can only put cards in it. And it's a cool little... I don't know statement piece or whatever but i just felt like if i want to get it why not at least get a size where i could put more things in it than just my cards like that's my, my main thing i need to be able to put my phone in if i can't put my phone in there's no point in me buying it so this bag retails for 3.95 and i got it off of essence as well at the same time i got the off white bag for 20 percent off and i think it was i got it for 316 I ended up getting like $20 cash back so 
yeah that made it a little bit cheaper or whatever so on the front of it i'm not sure if you can see it but it says Kara right there in gray and it has this little pocket right there and on the back it's just you know plain white or whatever it has a little zipper and if you open it up it has another little uh place for your cards and then it has another uh pocket in this inside and then it just has all this open space again my card holder and my phone can fit in it and I can zip it up and that's what it looks like. It has this cute little uh, bike chain on it. And this chain, you guys, I know it probably look cheap. It probably look like got some jewelry, but this is a durable quality chain. This chain is heavy. It's probably not gonna be, you know, heavy where it's gonna hurt your shoulder or anything like that. But this is a heavy chain. Like, it's super duper heavy. So you can wear it like, of course, as a cross body if you wanted to or you could wear just you know like on your shoulder or some if you want to be cool you want to be that cool kid that you know carry your bags like this you know you know you see them on instagram they be carrying their bags like that i'm probably gonna be one <laughs> i cannot wait to get outside finally <sighs> this is this is how i feel i feel like these chains should be around me because i feel like i'm in jail because of quarantine because i can't get outside to wear my bags like <laughs> can't wait till we get outside back and finally with my bag but yeah super cute bag i love it okay and last but not least is this ysl monogram envelope wallet one chain bag so i've always wanted a ysl bag i love saint laurent so much um, I love all of their bags. My three favorites are the Nikki, the Sunset, and the, um, what is it, the Kate? Yeah, so, I don't know. I was just up one night, and I was scrolling around on Selfridges. And if you're not sure what Selfridges is, I'm probably saying it wrong, but Selfridges, Selfridges, it's a luxury department store based out of London. I was just scrolling around on my phone one night, and I just so happened to come upon Selfridges and I typed in Saint Laurent and I just look in and I saw this bag and I saw that it cost $785 and I'm like hold up I'm like hold up <laughs> hold up if you're familiar with YSL if you're familiar with Saint Laurent you know they don't got nothing they don't have anything baby that costs $700 their bags their cheapest bag is literally like nine hundred dollars or like twelve hundred dollars and up if you're then i think the cheapest one is like a little bucket bag for nine hundred dollars but if you're talking about like an actual like leather bag baby you your your cheapest is twelve hundred dollars and up so once i saw that i'm like hold on this this gotta be a glitch or something so i clicked one of course and i put it in my cart and it still says 785 i'm like wait a minute let me go let me go look on other websites to make sure that I, what i'm seeing is right because this doesn't even make sense so i went on st lamont website itself i went on nordstrom i went on essence i went on every website that i could to see how much this specific bag the same exact bag costs regular price and this bag literally costs 13.50 regular price so once I saw that, I was like, you know what? I have no choice. Like, you know, and this is the, this is how the mind of an impulsive buyer works. I said, oh, I got no choice. I got no choice. So I went back to Selfridges as quickly as I could, and I politely put the bag in my cart and I bought it because, baby, like thirteen hundred dollars, thirteen fifty, but I got it for seven ninety. I think I think with tax. I mean, I'm a tax. I think with shipping, it was like eight. 10 or something like that but still come on now like that's basically almost half price like why would i not buy it like i would be a fool to not buy it and i mean i know it's super small or whatever but it's actually not that small because it's actually the same size as my balenciaga while on chain and that's not a bad size for me so i'm just like you know what i literally i had no choice like it's a, that's a great deal like i'm literally not going to find that deal anywhere else like i had to but anyway so it is this envelope monogram ysl bag it comes in this black textured leather and it has the um chevron print on it as you can see 
it has the silver hardware has the silver white cell and the silver chain the chain is actually longer i just again tucked it in because i want to wear it as a shoulder bag and i liked how it looked i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah i like how it looks as a shoulder bag once you open it up again it is a wallet on chain so just like the balenciaga one it has the little card slots right there it has the little open space in there if you can see it and again um it has the little zipper in the front for coins or just like um extra storage and stuff like that so yeah it's basically the same thing i'm going to compare these so you guys can see the the sizing so this again this is the balenciaga wallet on chain this is why so so i'm going to put them side by side so you can kind of see the um size and so it's basically the same size though balenciaga is like a little bit higher but literally not much like like literally not much it's the same length and the width i think the balenciaga is a little wider the chains the balenciaga one is a little wider than the um ysl but not really by much so yeah that's the comparison so because when i first opened it i was kind of bummed like man that's super small but it's literally the same size so it's not a big deal again it can fit my phone and my wallet i don't need my wallet of course because i can take the cards out but just because it can fit my phone and my wallet just like that and i could probably put like some lip gloss or whatever else in there that i need it and it closes and the shape is not effective yeah it's super cute you can wear it as a crossbody it has a chain and then it has this little leather part at the top i actually wish it didn't have this like on the bigger ones it's just the full length chain it doesn't have this leather but it's not a big deal it's not a huge deal because i'm most like want to tuck this in and double the chain just like i did the balenciaga one anyway because i like to carry my bags on my shoulder just i don't know i'm an old lady i guess i don't know <laughs> yeah this is super cute man i had to i literally had to i'm sorry y'all i know y'all probably like girl really i ain't no choice <laughs> I had no choice i gotta justify it somehow i don't really have no choice though but yeah super cute bag i love it so much i'm gonna wear this a lot i can see myself wearing this a lot if we ever get to go back outside <laughs> and uh, guys that is it that is the end of this bag haul please let me know what you guys thought i know you know my bags aren't the typical um luxury bags i like to go for you know trendy stuff and just stuff that really honestly just interests me thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are still staying inside and y'all still quarantining because the quicker y'all stay in the house the quicker we can get out the house you feel me i gotta get outside i gotta wear these bags these bags are begging to get worn they in my closet they like, Dami, you ain't, what, what did you buy us for if you're not going to wear them? And I'm trying to explain, you know, the child don't want to stay inside and all that. So, you know, stay in the house. Just just stay in the house. That's all I'm asking. Stay in the house because me and my bags, we trying to get out the house. You feel me? We trying to get outside. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you would like to see more videos like this, let me know. If you would like to know how I'm able to get all these bags. It's not, it's really not a secret. But if you would like to know how I'm able to get all these bags, let me know. Make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment down below also when you subscribe make sure that you hit the notification bell so you can see whenever i post you can get you know the notification whenever i post you can go right to it you know but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye guys